Hey everybody, it's W. Mark Watson. I want to say a big thank you so very much for coming and hanging out with me for another episode of Divorced, Happy and Successful. And if you know how I like to do it, if you listen to any of the episodes, I like to hop right into it and I'm going to do the very same thing today. Today's topic is what type of relationship should you have with your former spouse after your divorce? Because many times I think there can be confusion and those relationships in and of themselves can be confusion, you know, confusing all by themselves. So uh, I just want to share a little bit of my experience and maybe uh, you can glean something from today's episode that might help you in the future. So the reason why it's so important is because after your divorce, you're going from a relationship where you are married to this person to now a relationship where you're unmarried. Now that you're unmarried, there's several different ways that that relationship can go. It can go one way, whereas there's very little communication and relationship, not the best decision. There's another way where it could be a more professional, casual, cordial relationship, which is what I suggest. And then you have the friendly one where, you know, you're able to be really good friends and bridge that gap and move on as if really nothing happened, which, of course, is the very best scenario. You know, be honest, honest, you know, being very honest about it. Of course, that would be the best scenario of all the choices. And if that's possible for you, go for it. By all means, do it. But I want to just share with you one that I've chosen is the professional slash cordial relationship. And basically, it developed on its own. So what I did was, you know, after the initial cool down period and, and you think you kind of moved to, moved away from most of the, the big emotions and the hurt and the anger and, the, you know, the blaming, you know, I gave it that warm up period. And then every now and again, I'd put a little feeler out there, you know, just to try to maybe make a joke here or there, maybe give a compliment you know, basically trying to establish a more friendly relationship. Well, it was not met with the same zest or the same appreciation as, you know, a friendly relationship is, you know, and, it, and it's not surprising to me because, you know, in our relationship, in my marriage, it ended up being one that was less friendly. You know, of course, we got along and, long and we were in a relationship and we loved each other, but I think still, you can love someone and not necessarily be friendly with them. So I'm not surprised that, you know, it, it, the relationship didn't develop into a more friendly type relationship. And so what I did was I took that read from my former spouse. So, you know, I attempted to, you know, I extended the olive branch. I attempted to kind of reestablish a little something different in a relationship as far as us being friends. And it was rebuffed or not accepted, however you want to look at it. And so then I had to, had to adjust and really decide that, okay, probably the best thing for us is just to have more of a professional cordial where we keep everything very business, very upfront, and for the most part, only really talk about our son. So the majority of our relationship now and our conversations are all geared toward BJ, something to do with our son whether we're planning for him, whether something needs to be paid, whether, um, you know, of course, we're discussing his behavior, we're discussing school, we're discussing clothes, things that he might need. Everything is about BJ. And that has worked for us for quite some time now, probably going on 10, eight, nine years now. So that's the way we've decided. Oh, that's what works for us. And that's what we go for. Now, I choose that type also for several other reasons. Number one, because it's a safer place. So safer space for all parties involved. You know, after you got that, you get that divorce, things are going haywire and crazy. You need a, a calmer place. You need to find somewhere where it makes more sense where, so you, you can start to reestablish, you know, the party lines. And so that professional cordial relationship, we see each other, we're around each other. We definitely speak. We interact when we need to, but we don't go out of our way. To, to interact with the other person. And number two, it reduces emotion. You know, we've got plenty of that as we, as we speak, you know, all over the place. But when you have more of a cordial professional relationship, you, I liken it to my relationships at work. 
when you're at work, you know, there's a lot of things that you don't discuss, a lot of things that you don't say, a lot of things that you don't do. So when you can keep that relationship more on a professional, lighthearted basis, it reduces the amount of emotion and it makes it a lot easier to manage because you know what to expect every day and every time. And once you can establish that solid baseline of behavior, i.e., again, we keep everything pretty much about our son and that's it. When we're done talking about him, we're done talking. Uh, it, al- it also helps eliminate some confusion. You know, when you get to that ref- that friendly place again, now you open yourself up for the potential for more misinterpretation. You know, he says, she said, or we, you know, you start to make plans and things don't don't go as planned. And now you start to feel maybe you drum up some of those old emotions or, you know, you you have some of those flashbacks and now you have other additional conversations that maybe you wouldn't have if you didn't necessarily have that, you know, friendly relationship. And again, just going back to you, you need that. You need to find a platform, you need to find a place where there's more stability going forward, because, you know, when for divorced parents with your kids involved, you definitely want to, you know, reach that place of stability and understanding as quickly as possible. So those are the reasons why I've chosen to have more, more of a professional, cordial relationship. We keep it above water, speak only about our son. Again, at the end of the day, though, you have to decide and do what's best for you. Again, if you can have that friendly relationship, great. That's wonderful. That's that's the best thing for all parties. But when that's not available in, you know, in lieu of definitely, you know, trying to eliminate the relationship as much as possible, see if you can find that common space in a nice professional cordial relationship where you discuss business and then you go your separate ways. All right, that's all I got for you today. I hope that something in this episode served you. If it did, be sure and listen to it more than one time. Share this episode with someone else you think it might help. Let's check out some of the old episodes and keep your eyes and ears open because we're going to have a lot more great stuff coming down the pipeline for you. So until we speak again, take care of yourself and do the best you can by you and by your family because you deserve your own post-divorce paradise and No one, no one deserves it more than you and you can have it. So take care. Look forward to speaking with you again on the next episode. Take care now. Bye.